welcome to my channel. I make home education videos with my seven-year-old daughter Rosie. Uh, excuse the state of me, it's been rather a long week. Um, we haven't posted in a little while because um, we didn't get an awful lot done when we got back from Iceland and then when Rosie went to her dad's the following weekend um, I had a friend round and uh, just totally forgot to like put anything together and we kind of had a week off to rest and everything because we hadn't really rested yet so this video will kind of be cobbled together kind of what we've been up to in the last week and a bit since we got back from Iceland and uh, yeah we've done bits and pieces of home ed stuff and been on a couple of trips um yeah okay me and rosie are trying this apple sinewy icelandic chocolate bar i think it tastes chocolate orangey what does rosie think cinnamon -y. i think it's cinnamon -y. chocolate orange nice right yum 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 i like this one this one's nice i was worried it's gonna be something to do with apples but it's really not so we're slowly making our way through our icelandic chocolates and treats they don't really do sweets over there it's more chocolatey stuff so yeah so today we have a odyssey show down in barry that we've got to get ready for later this morning but our boiler's gone so we've got someone to come and look at our boiler this morning so i'm gonna go get ready and have, make breakfast so rosie is um she wants to make something for her friends because we appear to have either lost or left two postcards in iceland um so rosie wants to show her friends what she did so she's going to make them a picture so she's going to pick six of her favorite things I won't be in here to film it because I'm making breakfast and stuff though. Yeah. But she's going to pick like whale watching Northern Lights. She's going to pick six things she really enjoyed and draw pictures for her friends. Oh, and this is going to be for them. Um, and then she can do another one for herself or Nanny and Bampi and something if she wants. So this is Rosie's Northern Lights with me. Someone falling in the Blue Lagoon, which we didn't actually see. But <laughs> there we go. A whale, a geese, a geyser, the cat cafe and... I think the rainbow rune and a volcano. So yeah, rainbow she's done a beautiful a picture. So Tuesday this week, we ended up going to the lake. We looked for more signs of spring. Rosie played, did lots of PE in the park. Um, we learn random things when we hang out with home editors as well. Like um, there was a lady there who was excited about the word babble. Um, or dabble, dabble, um, the origins of it and why, what ducks do when they're doing it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we find we learn most when we just talk to other people because we learn about their interests and they we find out really interesting things that they know about. Um, that's how Rosie's learned about cameras from people taking photographs in town, uh, bank cashiers that are just like, want to help her learn about different things and, yeah. As much as the world sucks sometimes and you can experience some really crappy people, um, there are some really, really good people out there and really friendly. I was the one thing I would say about Iceland, they are very friendly over there. Um, they were just... We live in a big city with a, a lot big population because we live in Cardiff. I would move somewhere smaller like that. Uh, it was nice that it was quiet, it wasn't crowded. Everything seemed so relaxed. Everyone was friendly and relaxed. And I know when you're on holiday, you're relaxed. You're there to relax. And if you lived there, you would have things to get on with and a, a schedule to keep. But there was just a general feeling there of chilledness. And they do have a saying in Icelandic that's, um, that everything will be okay. Everything will work out okay. Um, something red, regard, I can't remember what it is, but it's something... If I can find the picture again, I'll put it um, in because I'm considering it getting tattooed on me um, as my Iceland souvenir. <sighs> so, yeah. Be nice to live somewhere slower paced than when done at a big city. But then we could just move out of the city and into a quieter place in Wales. And Wales is beautiful. Um, but we do want to see more of the world. So, yeah. I don't know what we'll get up with with the rest of the week because our um, guest has an irregular sleep pattern so I don't know if we'll end up doing something on our own or generally waiting around for them to wake up and not get an awful lot done. Uh, so we might do some sit down work while we're waiting. We'll definitely play some music. Um, but if we do end up somewhere we'll post some pictures because um, I know they really want to go to Castle Cock if they can get up in time. So yeah.
your dinner in a minute. Eight. You're going to hit it again though. It'll be the same chord. Five, six, seven, eight. Hit two. Five, six, seven, eight. Hit the wrong part. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Well done. Hear the boom. It's almost like a firework. It goes crackle, 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 crackle. Boom. You hear the crackle, 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 boom. Bring you here next time. Hear the. Boom. Mommy. Hang on. Listen, hang on, baby. Big look, big wave. Hear it. It's like a firework. So cool. I'm trying to leave the music out of the earlier part of the video because I'm kind of like. I keep getting copyrighted for some reason, I don't know why, because these are free songs, a part of the app, so um, I'm not entirely sure why. I own none of the rights to any of the music um, that's playing at all. Um, so yeah, it's been an interesting couple of weeks, I had a really amazing weekend with my friend, um, marrying our drum, if you don't get what that means, basically electronic drum kits come with brains that have all the kits in, so you can play different sounds. And I'd played his and I'd always wanted one called Melodious. Um, which is on a TD30 and I've got a TD17 and I don't have any music kits and he just brought his down saying well if there's a way to do it we'll find a way so we, we he brought it down thinking we could just plug his into my kit and then we realised the back of mine is different and we don't have the same connectors um, so I've got a tech friend who was going to come and help us on Saturday night um, we went out for breakfast and he just went should we just look for midi lead just in case we'll just go we'll go get midi lead so we walked down to um lots of different shops and they were like i don't know what midi lead is we went into cash generators and the lady in there said i know what it is we don't have one but there's a music shop around the corner they probably will i am so 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 glad that we went and found that midi lead because um saturday we were just having a jam i was playing the rav drum that my friend had brought and has left um and I was really in it. I was really, really enjoying playing it. And all of a sudden, he was trying to get my attention. And he was like, em, em, it's here. We've done it. Our babies are talking. And he was just so excited. I'll never forget the look on his face. I don't think, She's here. And he started hitting it. I said, what? Just parts of it. And he was like, because I was always told by both of them, you're never going to get the whole thing on your kit because it's not, I don't have enough triggers. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have to make do with like a mismatch of melodious on my kit it's not quite going to sound the same but he was just like it's here the whole thing the whole th come and play it and i was just like i can't i've got to play the rav i've got to play the rav i can't go on it i was just in the, in a, this hand pan drum and i was just like oh so it was the next day that i finally managed to play it but yeah i've got the whole thing um this video is going to get a bit long um, I will play it for the next video and um, put in a little insert of what melodious is on my kit um, I absolutely love it. There's something about it that's healing and soothing and yeah, part of the magic of that weekend along with playing the Rav with my friend as well. Um, we just kept a, a rhythm going and um, I just... I couldn't play anything else. I was stuck with this rhythm and he was just like, that's okay. And I just turned sideways and he started playing more of it. He was just like, I haven't been able to play this with someone else before. So it's just, it's just an amazing moment for musicians when you suddenly realize you're jamming, you're playing the same instrument and you're kind of naturally moving around each other so that you don't get in each other's way or hit each other's hands with different, it's just, it's so cool. So, um, yeah amazing weekend lots of late nights because that's when we get up with our to our creativeness as musicians and stuff and i've got a load of compositions in the pipeline which is exciting for me um and a new job to start shortly hopefully um so yeah uh, i'll leave this video here for today it's probably slightly less home ed and more kind of like 
our journey side of it, my journey side of it, into like expanding my musicianshipness, whatever you call it, so and creativity. So yeah, it'll be a core cool time. So we'll catch you in the next one. And for now, it's a tar for me and it's a tar for the Rosie Bear.